video today, I want to talk about buttons. Buttons are a very common and useful control that you can place in your SharePoint forms. And with them, you can let your users control the form, save the item, go into the edit mode and so on. So we'll start with the simple button types. For example, save button, cancel button, edit button. You can find them almost on any form. But ultimate forms also adds other types of buttons that are more advanced. For example, you have the save and edit button. This button will save the item and then reload the form in the edit mode again, or save a new button. Saves the current item, reopens the form for entering a new item. This helps your users to move faster and work more efficiently. Now let's go into the form designer to see what other configurations and options buttons have. So first of all, let's talk about the button types. So as I said, simple types, save, cancel, edit, more advanced, save and edit, save and new. Next, we have the action type. Using the action button type, you can set column values on the form with just the click of a button. You can use expressions, calculations, function results. This way you introduce your business logic into the form itself, save time and let your users fill out the form faster. You also have all the options of action and save, action and edit, save and edit, action, save and new. Next type of button is the trigger action button. With this type, you can trigger actions. Actions are another component of ultimate forms that implement business logic behind the scenes. In my form here, for example, I have this complete project button that triggers the complete project button that updates a bunch of fields. Actions can do all the things inside SharePoint and outside of SharePoint, update items, create new items, manage permissions, call web services, um, update information in databases and so on. Another type of button is the create associated item button. Associated items are similar to repeating section or repeating tables within the form. So it creates um, sub items for the main form item. In my example here, it's a project that has multiple tasks. With the button, I can add new tasks with just a click of a button using again, some of my business logic. So I click the button, it asks me for the title. I add a new task this way. As you can see here, start and new day and due date are set according to the logic of the button. Another type is the custom button that allows you to write and run your custom JavaScript for more advanced specific solutions. Now that we've talked about the types of button, let's talk about how the buttons can look. So first of all, you can set the button to be a primary, more prominent or default, which is less prominent button type. You can change the size of the button from the smallest to the largest. You can add an icon to your button and you can even add style rules. For example, you can um, set a background and then you can even add conditions to when this background will appear and or when the default background will appear. Your button can also request a confirmation. The users will have to agree after they press the button and the confirmation can be shown in the language of the particular user. You can also assign permission rules to buttons. So you can hide buttons, make them read only and make them clickable depending on various conditions, user identity, and so on. The last thing I wanna talk about is the button bar. The button bar is a control that lays out the buttons on the form. It controls if the buttons are gonna appear on the left, on the right, on the center. It also controls which buttons will appear on the form. So as you can see here, we have all the different kinds of buttons, but on each particular form type, only the relevant buttons will appear. For example, on the new form, you'll have the save and add cancel, but on display form, you will have edit and close and the button bar will automatically take care of that. And that's all there is to it. You can install a 30-day trial of Ultimate Forms. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.